Let's get right to that top story. We've just had the press conference live on our air. The St. Johns County Sheriff's Office says they have arrested a suspect in the death of 13 year old Tristan Bailey, whose body was found Sunday evening. 14 year old, 14 year old Aiden Fucci was arrested on second degree murder charges and Bailey was last seen in the Durban Crossing Amenity Center around 1 a.m. Sunday morning before the search was called off last night when deputies found her body. On your sides, Renata DiGregorio joins us live. She was there at that press conference. She has more for us. Renata, what's the latest? Katie, that is the biggest takeaway right now. 14-year-old Aiden Fucci charged with second-degree murder when it comes to Tristan Bailey. Now, they just wrapped up the press conference here at the sheriff's office where Sheriff Robert Hardwick was speaking about us. He says that Aiden is the only suspect that the two went to the same school. Of course, we know that's Patriot Oaks Academy. They have extra grief counselors there today. Now, a lot of questions that we asked the sheriff, he, his only answer was that we're in the very early stages of the investigation. That's what we, when we asked where and how they were found, what led up to this, where they were before this. He said it's just the early stages right now, but he does say that they were found, uh, that Tris Tristan was found in a wooded area, that she was clothed, that someone who lived in that area heard about what was going on and found her over by his subdivision, that is by Durban Crossings. Now we asked about conversations between Aiden and Tristan and what the link is, and the sheriff says that just because something's on social media doesn't mean it's true, but he said that again, it's in the early stages. We also asked why second degree murder, and he says that that's looking into the facts that they have right now. That's what they decided to go with, and he said that that can always go up, that they can always increase that. Now, he's not giving the cause of death and says that once the medical examiner completes what they have, they will share that with the family, and then they will decide if they're going to bring that back publicly and speak about what the cause of death is with the public. As for weapons, he says in the early stages, but he does say that justice is being served and it does tell people who are angry, especially to let it go through the process that they are all working hard to investigate this. Now, if anyone else does have any information, they are still looking for people to come forward with them or with this. So do contact police here in St. John's County if you know anything. I'm Renata DiGregorio, live in St. John's County. First Coast News, on your side. An awful